Hey everyone, this is Asma Khaled from Cloud Pages, and today I'm here with another video in which I'm going to announce a brand new feature that Cloud Pages has just introduced that is a fully automated way to deploy a server using Hetzner, which is really cool, which has been very anticipated and requested by many of our clients. Thank you so much for your suggestions. As you guys already know that we have fully automated digital ocean and now we have automated heads now so today in this video i'm going to show you how you can deploy cloud pages on heads now using our new system now it is very very easy and anyone can use it especially those people who do not have any um, advanced knowledge about all of this they can just come to our site and learn the steps, like it's basically like step one, step two, step three, step four, and just deploy a server. It's really, really easy. So let's begin. So when you come on the Cloud Pages site and you log into your account, this is the first screen that you will see. Over here, you will see many projects that you have previously used, and also you can add a new project. And when you click add a new project, all you have to do is enter a project name, click enter, and a new project will be created. It's really, really simple. For this demo, I'm going to use one of my previous projects since it is attached with my agency plan. So you have to buy a plan. As you can see, Cloud, uh, Cloud Pages has been affiliated with DigitalOcean, Hatsner, AWS, Vulture, Renode, UpCloud, and of course, you can deploy a server manually also. And over here, you can see that DigitalOcean has been automated. And now Hatsner has been automated. We are going to deploy a server using Hatsner today. So when you click on Hatsner, you will be asked to provide a key. Now, you have two options. Either you can select a key from previously saved keys, or you have to generate a new one, add a new one. So when you click on add a new key, over here, you have to provide an API key. Where can you get the API key? You have to go to Hatsner's website and sign in or log, uh, log in or sign up. You only have to provide some basic credentials, some basic information, and your account will be created. And of course, you can add many projects over here too. Let's click one of ours. Now, when you click a project, you will come to this screen from here on the left hand side menu. Click on security, which is right at the bottom. You have the options of SSH keys, API tokens, certificates, and members. For this purpose, you only, only need API tokens. So let's just click on API tokens. As you can see, you have many previous keys and also you can generate a new API token. So let's click on generate a new API token. Uh, now you have to write a name. Uh, for your API token, let's just call it server key. Server key. Now, this is very important. You have to click on read and write. If you only click on read and generate a token, you will only be able to copy it. You will not be able to paste it anywhere and use it anywhere. So you have to click on read and write. And now when you generate an API token, your token will be generated right over here. You click on copy. It will be copied. Go back on the cloud uh, cloud pages site, name and name your token uh, anything you want. Uh, let's just call it demo block. Let's paste our key over here. Now, when you click on add API key, your key will be saved. See, it's so simple to save a key. Now, when you go back to the dashboard and click on hands now you can see that your brand new generated key is right over here demo block when you click on it you will be asked to provide some basic information about the server that you need for example server name let's call it um, block server now you have to select a location for it Select a location for your server. You have to select a size for your server. Now, this is very important. You have to decide 
your RAM usage, your disk usage, and the price that you're willing to pay for it. So click the uh, package that you're most comfortable with. Now with Cloud Pages, you have the op uh, options of selecting Open Light Speed and Light Speed Enterprise. Let's click on Open Light Speed since it's a free one and create server. Now, uh, when you come to this step, you have to understand that this is the only time that you have to wait for something. You have to wait for mm, seven to eight minutes, depending on your internet, like 10 minute tops. If you have really slow internet, 10 minute tops. But once this installation process has been completed, uh, your server will be deployed successfully, which will take you to this page. Over here, you can see your server's CPU usage, RAM usage, and disk usage. Now, when you come to this screen, you can understand that your server has been successfully deployed and using this server, you can create websites or generate WordPress sites. So let's generate a WordPress site. From the left-hand side menu, click on WordPress Manager, which will take you to this place. Over here, click Deploy WordPress. See, now you only, you only have to provide basic information on every step, on every page. That's it. So the title of your blog, blog, demo, the domain, like blog, demo, dot, cloud pages, dot, Now you have to click a username, for example, let's just write demo, an email address, your password, and deploy WordPress. Now this deployment setup will take maybe two minutes, maybe three, and that's it. You, you have in within five to 10 minutes, you have successfully not just created a project, but deployed a server and created a WordPress site. It is really that simple. All you have to provide are basic information. You only have to remember, okay, now I have to provide key. Now I have to provide this information and that's it. That's really it. So it's a very, very easy process. As you guys, uh, guys can see, uh, my WordPress site has been successfully generated. And that's it. By using Heitzner automation, you have created a server and created a WordPress site. And thank you so much. And if you guys have any suggestions or any comments, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Thank you so very much.